What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we're back with another 2 in 1 WWE Elite 105 review on the 105 Elite Series Braun Strowman and Scott Steiner figures. Now, Scott Steiner was one of my favorite reveals at San Diego Comic Con. I think the figure looks brilliant. I'm really intrigued with the new stuff that's got going on. You got a new torso, you got a new head sculpt, you got a new arm mold. I mean, lots of great stuff going on over here. And then we have a new Braun Strowman, which you can say what you want about the figure. It looks pretty damn snazzy. And we're going to dive into all the things here, man. But you guys already like what you see. You want to grab these figures already. Go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% because I think the Dominic Mysterio from Elite 105 is the only figure that is on back order at the time of recording this. So you may want to go over there and grab some of these figures that are in stock right now. Use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%, man. But we have a first time in the line Scott Steiner figure. Should have had him in the Ultimate Edition, but nobody wanted to shell out the money for the Nitro stage. I'm not upset about it still. I'm not. I promise. However, we do have a very sufficient Elite figure right here of the man, and I'm pretty intrigued about it, man, but here we are, new packaging. Am I tripping? I could have swore yesterday's packaging was blue. Okay, maybe it's just the blue up top. I don't know, but I'm not a fan of the new packaging. Let me know what you think down below, but you have both images of the men there. Front viewing windows, of course, on the side, you get to, you know, you get the same stuff of the guys. You get the series, you got their images there. Not too much going on there. On the back, you get two jacked, sweaty men, as we all love. Got some bio read. I just looked over here and saw Big Bad Booty Daddy, so that kind of threw me off. Rest of the figures in the wave. Got their names on the sides, and if you guys uh, missed our review from yesterday, we did review Dominic Mysterio and Johnny Gargano, so definitely go check out that review, but with all those things being said, man, let's shut the hell up, crack Braun Strowman and Scott Steiner out of their packaging, and find out who the hell's biceps are bigger. All right, man, so here's Scott Steiner and Braun Strowman on our rotating base, of course, man. Really enjoying these figures, but, of course, we're going to dive into the things that I don't like about the figure. There's some questionable things, some different things going on with these figures, but for the most part, I'm enjoying these things. You know, we've waited on a Scott Steiner figure for so long, and they used to pump Braun Strowman out like it was going out of style. I mean, this man had figures just flowing out of our damn ears at one point from Mattel, but they have slowed down on those figures. It's been a minute since we got his last one. Oh, I guess it hasn't been that long, but we'll dive into all those things, of course, man, but let's shut the hell up. Dive into Scott Steiner's accessories and Scott Steiner, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Braun Strowman's accessories and Braun Strowman. All right, guys, so getting into Scott Steiner's accessories, not a tall ton going on with it, you know, but I think it's serviceable, you know. They're not Ultimate Editions. They are standard WWE Elites. Now, the first accessory we do have is the chain mail. Is it called chain mail? I, I don't freaking know. Is this a freaking email link? Are we forwarding this to 10 friends? Like, what is going on here? But you guys can see here, I think it is called chain mail or chain metal, whatever the hell you want to say, but you guys can see there, it is not see-through. Like, this is obviously supposed to be, like, see-through and have holes in it and stuff like that, but for the sake of the sculpt. Now, if it was like a real chain, that would have been freaking epic. Maybe they can do that in an Ultimate Edition or something, but I feel like it's way too big. Like, the shape's nice, but it's too big when you put it on the head sculpt. So if we take our Scott Steiner and then put this on there, I just feel like, I don't know, I guess if it's sitting on there, it's fine, but if you try to, like, push it on, it's, I don't know, I still think it's too big. It just doesn't grip the head very nice. I don't know, that's just my own personal opinion on that matter right there, especially if you put the glasses on there. I just, I, I don't know, I'm not really feeling it. Like, it looks fine for display, but it, it's definitely wobbly. It kind of falls off. And then we also get his standard sunglasses, which I do believe we've seen before, but they fit the figure pretty nice. They're a little bit warped, I think. But you put them on there, I think they get the job done. Looking like a damn Tony Hawk Pro Skater creator character. Look at him. Gonna go win the Tampa Am or something, Brad? God, I hope there's some people out there that know exactly what I'm talking about. But yeah, the sunglasses fit okay. They look better at certain angles, but they're a little bit warped on the right side. But I think they, they, they service, you know, they'll block the sun out for you. And then outside of that, you do get mic holding hands, which are just the standard norm. And then you get the fisted hands, the flex on guys and beat the hell out of him with his manly fists. Alright, so getting into Scott Steiner, starting out with the head sculpt. Pretty interesting because way back at the Mattel Design Center when we got to go tour that thing, they actually had an image of this figure's head sculpt on a wall. It's like grayscaled. And I remember looking at it and being like, that figure's not real. We don't have that figure yet. So it's kind of a confirmation that we're getting this figure and now here it is all these months later. Crazy stuff. But a damn good head sculpt, man. I think this looks just like him. I love the goatee. I like the hair sculpt. I think he looks fantastic right here. I think it looks just like him. I think that it a really good job here. Another thing they nailed is this new torso, and this man is absolutely jacked as hell. Look at this torso, man. I mean, this looks like Arnold. I mean, look at this guy right here. I mean, was he made in a goddamn lab, son? Look at these arms. Look at the shoulder. These are new shoulders, new torso, new biceps, new everything, new arm mold. I mean, they have crushed it here, and I think you could crush anybody with this torso. I mean, my God, look at him. Pretty decent little ab crunch right there, especially on the retractable, which we'll see in just a moment. 
moment, but he does have the red tights in here. Kind of coming off a little bit highlighter on here, but going across, you do have these like black circles. I want to say there was a design in these black circles, but I could be wrong. But on the back, it does say Freakzilla. And then you do have this the S with the star, and it's very early 2000s. I mean, my God, if that doesn't look like some graffiti Need for Speed ass graphics right there. Look at that right there, man. That tribal graffiti esque stuff. I mean, that is screaming early 2000s, and I'm here for it every single day of the week. Going down, you do have the pinless legs in there, and then you do have the standard black boots, which don't want to focus, but what I do want to focus on is this loose-ass foot right here, and that makes me want to break my own foot off in my own A. But that, yeah, that's pretty annoying right there, but you guys can see he does have a loose boot, but standard black boots. I mean, this guy's looking like one of those Jax figures, man. I mean, look at him right here, and I didn't mean Jax. I'm talking about those, like, cartoony Jax figures, but look at it, man. I think it looks great. Like, look at the musculature and the scaling. I think they nailed that real Scott Steiner look of him, and I think that's great and brilliant. Now, for your figure comparisons, we do have the Elite 105 Scott Steiner up next to the Elite 104 Rick Steiner, and I actually found this at my Walmart the other day, so these are hitting, so great timing for all sakes and purposes, but these guys look good up next to each other, you know, both jacked men. Maybe one day we'll get tag team versions of these guys, or maybe we won't, as we all know the story goes, but I don't know, I guess we could be hopeful, but it is really cool to see these guys up next to each other, you know, these are two first time in the lines that we've gotten this year, and they have been great additions to our WWE action figure rosters, but here are the two side-by-side, -side, if you guys were wondering. Another nice side-by-side -side is going to be the Triple H Decade of Domination Elite. No, this is the Fan Central in the orange packaging. That's this Elite. So, you know, you kind of have their feud going on right here. At least that's what I think of right there. You know, the like, colorful trunks are like 2003 Triple H up next to a Scott Steiner kind of go hand in hand here. So that's very nice. And it's cool to see these up next to each other. Almost look like a damn tag team. Look at them. You can have your own wrestling matches, like arm wrestling matches and stuff of that nature. And then for another comparison, as I was just kind of looking around the room, I did find the Ultimate Edition Goldberg. So it's just cool to see these up next to each other as well. And it's cool to uh, have a little pose off right there so you guys can do some wrestling matches with these guys or whatever you want but could have more comparisons but uh, for the sake of the office you know what I'm saying we're going to go with just the Goldberg Ultimate here but this is cool and I also want to look at what he looks like with the WCW Championship so you know if you want to put the old world big big gold on there you know there there's he there he is there so that's cool you have the big gold with the Scott Steiner he's looking pretty damn good big papa pump nasty and then getting into Braun Strowman's accessories you do get cloth goods which I always appreciate and a pair or a couple pair of inner interchangeable hands. Now with this shirt, it is very massive because the torso of this Braun Strowman is very massive and he's a massive guy as you guys can see. It says monster of all monsters and it's kind of like a zombie monster Hulk looking guy there. Got the green and red in there. Not my favorite shirt design ever, but not bad. You know, it gets the job done for the WWE shop.com. Nice stitching on there. Nice green color. It does have the Velcro on the back as you guys can see there, but we saw it on the figure. It looks good and I'll never complain about cloth goods. You know, this is not the first time we've seen cloth goods with Braun Strowman and it probably won't be the last. And then outside of that, you do get the standard mic holding hands, which are way too small, man. They're way too small. I don't know why they give him standard hands. He needs upgraded sized hands. That is the next step for the Braun Strowman figures. They're just too small, man. These are the same size that they gave everybody else, and it doesn't work. You know, they upgrade them for Andre and stuff. They need to upgrade them for guys like Braun Strowman and Brock Lesnar and guys that are massive. Give them massive hands, man. I think Kane has the same issue. They need to have bigger hands than just the standard hands. And then he also comes with fists, and this just goes hand in hand with Rey Mysterio, right? Like, when they give Rey Mysterio the same size hands. So you're telling me that Rey Mysterio and Braun Strowman have the same ha size hands? Get out of here, Bradley. All right, man, diving into Braun Strowman, I think this is a pretty damn good head sculpt. I think they did a good job capturing his nose and his likeness and his beard. Not near as long of a beard as we've seen in the past with Braun Strowman, but a really strong likeness. Head sculpt looks good. They did do this weird thing, though, on the back. They gave him, like, this shaved head look, but it's on the back, and it kind of looks like, I don't know, like, you know, the figure was grayed out scale, and then they, like, sprayed it with the skin tone, and it just didn't cover. That's what it kind of looks like to me, but I don't think it looks bad or anything. It's just something to notice. You guys can see there like that gray shaved head look there, but still a damn good looking head sculpt, I think. And we do have this new torso here, which does look very similar to his last one, but I do believe it is a new torso here. So we get two new torsos that are both heavily jacked, which is insane, but I think it fits him. You know, he's very leaned out. He's very gigantic, very good lifter and things of all things that are heavy. I don't think these arms are new. I think these are the same arms we saw in his last Elite, but you do have all of his tattoo work here. You got his like power lifting stuff on the side there. I'm pretty sure sure that's not accurate. That tattoo is like misprinted or something, I'm pretty sure. Then you do have his massive back. I mean, look at this guy, man. You saw this guy? It looks like a damn flat screen TV back here. I mean, good lord. Got his other tattoo on his arm right there. Black wrist tape. Nothing crazy, but we do have a new torso and we have this new crotch piece. Wait, this may not be a new crotch piece. I think this is the same Braun Strowman crotch piece, but we do have this new leg mold that is like these skinny jeans like ripped up, as you guys can see in the red color. Not very realistic looking, however, they still look good, and I think this is the same red that's on Scott 
center over there, but you guys can see the red with the rips and the skin tone showing through, and then you have the like patches and the black. Going down, he has the pinless joints into the red, and then he does have the short boots, which I think these are just standard Roman Reigns boots, nothing like too crazy or over the top with those, but they do look good. They look like they mesh up in there nicely, so that's cool for the Braun Strowman. But looking at this guy, he does look like a beast. I mean, he's got good stuff going on, and if you guys were wondering, both of these figures are on ball joints. If you guys were wondering about that or like worried about it, they are on ball joints. I think all Braun Strowman figures are, but at pinless joints, man, they love to be very tight, but he's got upper thigh cut, double jointed knee, new torso does, uh, he flexes pretty good there. He's got the, you know, upper degree 90 bicep swivel, all the good stuff. I mean, it, it feels pretty solid. I mean, I don't like these like shield style legs. I know they're not the same, but just any short boot legs are usually, they get on my nerves for whatever reason, but let's get into some Braun Strowman figure comparisons. We do have a bunch of Braun Strowmans right here. You have sort of your Vindication MDT pick fed Hales Monsters tag team with Kane, Braun Strowman over here on the left with the mask. Then you have like the Elite 62 right here, I think, the Elite 87, and then we have like a Top Talents Braun over here. And this isn't all the Brauns. We've had so many Brauns, and I have so many Brauns over here to my left, but they're all virtually the same. Like, they all look like this or this one, but they have different boots. They have different screaming head sculpts, straight head sculpts. You have the Elite 52, the Elite 56, the Elite 62. I think it's Elite 58, but you know what I mean. Just lots of Braun Strowmans here, but this is the first one that's kind of different. You know, we did have this one that had the shorter boots and like the tucked in look, but this one is even skinnier and leaner and meaner, and he looks like a damn beast, so that's cool. But lots of Braun Strowman figures. I mean, he, he has great figures and good figures and bad figures. So, I mean, yeah, he, he runs the mill there, but it is cool to see all these Braun Strowmans up next to each other, and I like it. I'm a fan of this Braun Strowman Elite. But I think that pretty much wraps up our WWE Elite 105 review of Braun Strowman and Scott Steiner, man. You know, I really enjoy these figures in their own ways. I do, again, have my gripes with both of these figures and my freaking rotating base. Gotta find a damn battery for it or something like that, but I'll keep it spinning for you guys there. However, you know, I really enjoy these figures. I think the Scott Steiner, I don't like the way the chain mail or the chain metal, whatever the hell you want to say. I don't like the way it fits the head. I think it's a little bit too large and it kind of like is gappy and creates a gap and also my sunglasses are warped. Not the biggest deal ever but it definitely bothers me and then my one boot is definitely loose on my Scott Steiner figure but I mean these are all minor inconveniences. It's not like it completely thrashes the figure or something like that. However I really like the torso. I think they did a really great job of capturing how big he was and his biceps and his torso. Like I really really enjoy that. I just hope they don't give this damn torso to Kurt Angle down the line. You know what I mean? That's my only worry. I don't want to see these overemphasized torsos on guys that don't need it. That's my only worry with that. However, it fits him. It fits Scott Steiner, and I think they did a really good job on the Scott Steiner figure again. Just the chain mail really is too big. It really is. It falls off the figure. Not my favorite deal there, but the rest of the figure is a beast. It really, really is, and I'll have to switch out that boot, but at the end of the day, the Scott Steiner is an absolute W. And then the Braun Strowman figure, it is what it is. I feel like the torso is a little bit weird how it angles out, and it creates a weirdness with the shoulders and how you like kind of rotate those and move them up and down from a 90 degree angle. And I also think that they give him too small of hands. We've discussed this before. Braun Strowman's hands are not the normal hands, man. His hands are not the same as Cody Rhodes. They're not the same as Finn Balor. They're not the same as these other guys. Same thing with Brock Lesnar. They need to upgrade the hand size for Brock Lesnar, Braun Strowman, those larger characters. They've done it before with other characters. We've seen it before on some basic figures. So they really do need to update the size of the hands on Braun Strowman and guys like that because he has baby hands right now and it's really bothersome. But pinless joints on both of these guys doesn't really bother me on the arms. I still feel like the legs are a little bit stiff and I don't want to just keep regurgitating that but I do want it known that the legs are very stiff when they're pinless and that, that's what we're getting here. But I do like the Braun Strowman. I like the Scott Steiner. It'll be very interesting what happens with these figures once we get into the ranking of this said wave when we get to My Damn Thoughts. But uh, it, it's very fun. It's a fun little uh, review here and I had fun with both figures and if you guys want to grab these, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when you're shopping over there. I would greatly appreciate it. But that is going to wrap up the review, man. If you guys made it to this point in the video, I'd greatly appreciate it if you left me a like there. It greatly helps out the channel. And leave me your thoughts on this figure down below. That is going to wrap the video up, man. Subscribe to the Patreon if you guys are interested. A huge shout out to our patron subscribers over there. Always love and adore those guys over there. Greatly appreciate them and their support at all times. Always appreciate you fellows over there. But that is going to wrap the video up, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.